and it gets past Amir. This is going to be a big hit. Ken Griffey Jr. is frozen. This is bad news. And this is going to be an inside the park home run for the Orioles. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to yet another episode of our Backyard Baseball 2003 Tampa Bay Devil Rays season playthrough. It is the fifth game of the season now. With our Devil Rays, we are 4-0. As you can see, we are tearing through the season. We're beating the crap out of these teams. Uh, we've got the Orioles up next, who we beat 14-1 at their stadium. Now we're playing them in our home field. Last time we played them, Randy Johnson had an insane game at the plate. Ken Griffey Jr. had a monster home run and we put on the points early and finished them off so let's see if we can do the same thing on our turf all right so like the last game we are pretty familiar with their roster as far as non-created players go as far as non-cpu players go they do have jeff conine who is a pro and they also have uh, gretchen hasselhoff but aside from that it's all created kids not the best team of hitters either so we should have a pretty easy job taking care of them today and randy johnson gets her with the change up three pitches three strikes great way to start off the game. Randy Johnson has been tearing it up this season so far. Last week was probably his best pitching performance so far. I think he had 12, uh, 12 strikeouts. Absolutely insane. And we're looking to keep up this relentless pace. He is definitely the team's MVP so far. But that is a big hit. And it gets past Amir. And this is going to be a big hit. Ken Griffey Jr. is frozen. This is bad news. And this is going to be an inside the park home run for the Orioles. What is going on? Wow, so Ken and Amir got tangled up in the field there, and I, I don't know what that was, guys. <laughs> After an excellent first three pitches, uh, Randy Johnson allows a home run, which I, I put in quotations because that was not his fault. I don't know what's going on with our fielders, but hopefully we can recover from that, because that was pretty embarrassing. Another change up right there. And that's going to be another strikeout on three pitches. Here comes Jeff Conine. Let's pitch uh, carefully to him. He's hitting pretty well this season. He's got a 400 average. It's going to be outside. And that's going to be another big hit. Let's see if Ken Griffey Jr. messes this one up too. That was off the ground? What was that? All right, so we have two hits allowed off uh, some sketchy fielding from uh, Ken Griffey Jr. Jeff Conine is going to steal, and he's going to be successful. No, Amir is there with the tag. Great throw by Keisha Phillips. That was really close, though. Um, but we let in one run off a pretty embarrassing fielding gaff. Let's try and put some more runs on the board. And this is, might be a pop fly to Stephanie Morgan. That's going to be the first out of the game. And that's going to be a grounder for Pete, but it's a high bounce. He might get to first base, and he does. Some mess ups in the field, but that's our first hit in the game. So here's Nomar, who has probably got the lowest batting average on the team, but you know, 470 is still pretty dang good. And this is a big pop fly out to left field. Do they run into each other? This could be a drop, and it is. Hit off an error, as always. And uh, we've got two men aboard. Amir homered in the, the last week's game. Let's see if he can do it again. And he does! That's gonna be another home run for Amir Khan. As y'all know, we have the open left field, and so if you hit it out into there, into that gap... Actually, that's a ground rule double. Okay, so I don't really know what the difference is. Maybe there's something hidden in the back there, but sometimes you'll hit it there and it's a home run, and sometimes it's a ground rule double. I'm actually not sure why, but we do get a run in there. And, wow, that's a strikeout for Keisha Phillips. She's still our best hitter on average, but uh, that was not a good strikeout right there. And here comes Randy Johnson, who is batting 500 as a pitcher. Two home runs on the season. He is just doing everything for us so far. We need a hit from him here for sure. And that's going to be a strikeout to end the inning. So good pitching from Esmeralda here. But at least we are tied up. Let's hope that in this inning we can avoid some of the pretty horrendous fielding mistakes that uh, got them on the board in the first place. Here's going to be a grounder. Ahmed is going to miss that, and they're going to get a hit right there. So already we are allowing way more hits than we usually do in these games. There's another grounder right there. Could this be a double play opportunity? Amir gets it to Nomar. That's an out, and Nomar gets it to Ahmed for a double play. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Way to make up for the mistakes. Here's Gretchen Hasselhoff, who still does not have a hit through four games now. That's pretty surprising. 
There we go. Strikeout to end the inning. Three pitches, three strikes. Great job from Randy Johnson. And it is an undergrounder. Uh, but I kind of want to see if I can hit for power here. And that's a banger from um, Ahmed Khan. Could that be a home run? It is a home run right there from a on a power-up pitch, too. That's what I'm talking about from Ahmed. Great hit. He clobbered that one. Uh, we might get our second batting power-up right here. Could that be the turning point that we need in this game to really pour it on? So we got an undergrounder and a crazy bunt. As y'all have been watching the series so far, no, uh, have probably noticed Pablo Sanchez has not been hitting very well for power. Um, he has had a few hits that probably would have been home runs if there wasn't like a building in the way. Uh, but he's been a great contact hitter. And look, see like right there, hits the building. Let's see if we can get this to second. And we do. And we're going to put him, put him back on second, but solid double from Pablo. Here is Ken Griffey Jr. who, by the way, leads the league with four home runs. Actually, I think he's tied for first. And there is a big hit from Ken Griffey Jr. Is that going to be over the building? It hits the building. It's going to fall back down. Pablo's going to be going home. We're going to hold Ken Griffey Jr. at second. No, we'll go to third. It's still bouncing. We've got some trouble in the outfield. Can we send Ken Griffey Jr. home for yet another inside the park home run? He is safe. That's going to be five home runs on the season for Ken Griffey Jr. All right, so with each row, we're going to try Crazy Bunt to see if we can get inside the park home run with him because he's so fast. All right, here we go. Let's see where this ball goes. Stays in the infield. Can Ichiro come home? He gets to third. That's a pretty good throw, so we're going to hold him at third, but still, triple ain't too bad. All right, so those two strikes got rid of our crazy buns. We're going to try an undergrounder here. And that is a strikeout from Esmeralda. Those are some good pitches right there for sure. Pete Wheeler goes down. And there's an undergrounder right there. Ball goes down into the concrete. Don't ask about the physics of that. That pops up in uh, left center field. Nomar is going to second. Can he go to third? Not the greatest throw in. Nomar is going to go to third for a triple. Not bad. And each row scores as well. And we already have a pitching substitution right now. That was very, very quick right there. Can we extend this lead? And that is off a power-up pitch. We could have more power-ups coming. Look how fast Amir is. He's definitely uh, having a stat boost day to day. He's going to get to third. Can he get home? Stephanie does not have the arm. We're going to have inside the park home run from Amir. This is going to be a slaughter, guys. This is all payback for getting inside the park home run off Randy Johnson in the first inning. This might be a fly out. No, it hits the ground. Keisha is going to be safe on first. Sacrifice bunt from Randy, and Keisha is going to move to second. Let's see if Ackman can give us another home run here. He murdered that ball in the first inning. That's going to be another rocket. Not going to go out of the park, but Keisha is going to get sent home. See if we can send Ahmed to second. The ball's bouncing high. Not a good throw to second base, and Ahmed's going to be safe. Another run scores. We extend our lead to seven runs. Let's see if we can finally get Pablo his first home run of the season. Oh my gosh, that was a horrible swing. For me, it's just really, really hard to time some pitches with Pablo because um, his batter's box is so low. But we leave one on still, though. <laughs> seven runs in one inning. Getting our payback for that embarrassing inside the park home run. That's going to be a grounder. Randy Johnson's on that. Easy out to Ackman. Esmeralda also does not have a hit so far this season, so they do not have the best hitters on their team. Best ball low and outside. Randy Johnson, fourth strike out of the game. That's a quick line drive right to Randy. Quick inning. King Griffey Jr. already got an inside the park home run on the game. And that's going to be a ball clobber to center field. Can this go out? Will this go out? Oh, that's a good catch from their center fielder. And that is going to be a pop fly from Ichiro. Can Stephanie get this? You can never trust these backyard kids. That is the second out. And that is a big hit to right field. She's right up against the wall. She drops that. We're going to send Pete to third. 
She's having trouble with the ball. Can we send Pete home? We're going to send Pete home. That's going to be, what, our third inside the park home run of this game? We are dominating. And that is going to be a grounder. Can Nomar beat this? I don't know if he can. He has to beat Stephanie to the bag. He is safe. Wow, that was really close. And that's going to be a fly out to left center. That's going to be the third out. Not as productive of an inning, but hey, we extend this lead. So here's Kathy Wolf, who had that inside the park home run. That's just the second home run that Randy's allowed uh, this season. She hits, she lays down a bunt. She's very quick. And she is safe at first. Wow. So out of all the Orioles players, she's definitely been the most productive so far. And that is a line out right to Pablo. He drops it. Come on, Pablo. Throws, zips it in, but way too late. So fielding errors are leading to pretty much the only hits so far for the Orioles, but hits are hits in this league. That's going to be a grounder. Keisha Phillips is going to wing it to third. One out. Oh, she is safe, so no double play. And they do get a power up because that was on a corkscrew pitch, so this is not good news. No power up used there. Gonna get Jeff out at first. She's going to keep running, though, trying to get to second. She is out, so that's a double play for us. So we allowed some hits, but we got out of there pretty clean. And the power up is aluminum power, which is a guaranteed home run. And there it is. Congratulations, Keisha Phillips. That's, uh, does she have a home run in the season yet? She might not. And that's a line drive down the third uh, baseline into the left field. Randy Johnson is going to get safe on first. And that's a line out to center field. Does it fall down? It does. But Randy Johnson is uh, pretty tired out from pitching, so he's going to be out. That's going to be a grounder. It bounces high. Can our runners be safe? They will. Pablo safe. Ackman safe on second. That was called a strike. Uh, so Whitney Singh, good pitching so far. I was surprised that one. I don't think that was a strike. I think the umpire is feeling pretty sorry for him at this point. Line drive from Ichiro, but this is probably going to be a ground out. That's going to be an out. Once again, only uh, only one run in that inning. Another ground out, easy out. There's some power right there from Gretchen. And Ichiro drops it. So Gretchen Hasloff is going to have her first hit of the season. We have more issues. Or maybe not. And that's going to be an out. I don't know what's going on with our fielders right now, but when even Ichiro is dropping stuff, you know things are going wrong. So I don't know what's going on with this. Fly out. Come on, Nomar. Don't drop this. There we go. Inning over. We have three errors. We have more errors than them. That almost never happens. And it's going to be a grounder for Pete. Can he beat this? Their first baseman runs away for some reason. I don't I don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> some of these CPU teams are just bizarre. Nomar Garcia Parra is probably having his best game of the season. He is three for three. Esmeralda is back on the mound. They really want this last strike. Oh, I swung way too early at that. Ugh. And that's a big line out of center. Can their center fielder get this? He's back. He drops it. Let's send Pete to third. The throw is not there. We know that Stephanie does not have a good arm. And whoa, we're, we're going we're gonna to hold right there. Star Moonbeam is a pretty good arm, apparently. And that could be another one right here. Look at that power. We're going to send Pete home. Amir's coming home. Could that go? That drops down. That's going to be an inside the park home run for Keisha Phillips. It is mayhem in center field. Two home runs on the day for Keisha Phillips. This looks like it's going to be a fly out run into her, Randy. She gets that out. Oh, man. That is a bad strikeout from Ahmed. Some of these pitches, I just, I just don't know what I'm doing with them, to be honest. It's not a terrible day on offense, but on defense, even though we've only allowed one run, uh, we, we could definitely be doing better. As a grounder right to Ahmed. I don't know what he's doing with it. Can he get back? No, that's going to be a hit. That's Esmeralda's first hit of the season. That was just more fielding gaffes. That's pretty much our only weakness is that our fielders are weird sometimes, really. 
Which is weird, because ratings-wise, we're all pretty good. Could this be a double play? No, she's safe at first and safe at second. Wow. Alright, guys, come on. Can't let them have a comeback. Kathy Wolf has been doing very good so far. Definitely the best performance on their team. That's over the plate. There we go. Five strikeouts for Randy Johnson. Definitely not as many as uh, in the last game, but he's putting it where he needs to. That's a line drive down the third field line. That is a second out. Throw to, th throw to first is bad. Oh, no. Can oh, this is a horrible, horrible miscalculation by me. Uh, we unintentionally allow our second run. That's the most runs anyone has scored against me so far. Uh, I got nothing for you guys. Whatever. All right. By, by fielder's choice, I guess you'd call it. They score their second run of the day. Come on, Randy. Let's finish these guys off. Just one more out and we're out of here. That is going to be a ground out. Randy gets it. Flips to Ahmed. Game over. 13 to 2. All right. So despite the fact that we won 13 to 2, that was definitely not our best performance, in my opinion. We did not feel the ball well at all. They should not have scored two runs. I think we should have shut them out. So that wasn't very good. But hey, a win's a win. For our statistics go, uh, best hitting performance probably goes to Keisha Phillips, who had two home runs, four RBIs, scored three runs herself. King Griffey Jr. also had a home run. We had a total of five home runs, including the two from Keisha and one from Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, Amir Khan also had one, and Pete Wheeler had one as well. I think most of those were inside the park, actually. And then pitching-wise, uh, Randy Johnson had five strikeouts and 45 pitches. Not his best performance, um, but again, mainly our issues were with fielding. They should not have had any business scoring two runs on us. But with that, we improved to 5-0 on the season. Our last game of this home stretch is against the Blue Jays. And as you can see on the schedule, we only beat them 6-1 to on their turf. If you watch that episode, you'll you'll see that uh, they definitely played us closer than any other team have played so far. So this could actually be a challenge. They got Sean Green on their team as well as a few others. So that could be a good game. With that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next week.